Welcome to Dr. Voip Training. This brief training segment is from the Dr. Voip Shortel 8 Administration video series. The complete 15 hours of training is available online or on DVD at drvoip.com. Let's meet our coach, Peter Buswell. Known throughout the telecom industry as Dr. Voip, Peter brings a wealth of experience to his training sessions. He has worked in telecom since 1970. He's worked exclusively in VoIP since 1998. He's a VoIP entrepreneur with three venture capital-backed businesses. He has a Bachelor of Science degree in Information Technology Management, plus certifications from some of America's leading communications companies. Let's join one of Peter's training sessions now in progress. It is, first of all, it's an IIS server. So on, it's a Windows 2003 release 2 running IIS. So it's a web server. And this is where we go to do our system administration. It has some other uh, useful services, for example, FTP services. Uh, when a phone boots up on the network, it needs to go to the Shoreware server and using FTP download its uh, configuration files and firmware from the mothership, as I like to call it. And the server also provides your basic automated attendant and voicemail capability. At that point, you're going to begin to drop in some number of Shortel uh, switches uh, to provide connectivity with the phone company as well as provide connectivity for your Shortel users. So in this example here, we have some, I don't know, one, two, three, four uh, Shortel uh, SG120s, uh, um, some telephone, analog telephone lines. Uh, to the public switch telephone network. We seem to have at least one analog telephone. Uh, I notice over here that we have an SGE T1, very typical in a short tell environment to have digital link to the public switch telephone network to enable services like primary rate interfaces. So this is a very typical uh, short tell installation. You will have uh, IP phones, and in this example, what we notice is that we have a single cable implementation. As you'll see later in our discussion, you can have uh, two types of uh, um, installations. You can have an installation in which you bring one cable from the Ethernet switch to the desktop, and the two-line Ethernet switch at the base of the Shortel phone feeds another cable out to the computer. So on one cable, we are able to run both the data and the voice. And typically, this would require that we VLAN this switch. This switch will also typically provide power over Ethernet to the Shortel phone. So uh, one cable to the desktop or two. Um, the other solution, of course, is to bring two cables to the desktop in which we run one cable directly to the computer and one cable to the phone, thereby effectively doubling the number of Ethernet switch ports required. Um, we have a remote site here in which we've added uh, two more SG120s, uh, local connection to the public switch telephone network. Um, we have a legacy telephone integration. Uh, perhaps there's a part of the company that has a telephone system that's not really quite uh, exhausted yet, maybe we've got a year left on the lease here. There's no reason why you can't connect uh, a short gear uh, telephone system to the legacy PBX such that people in this PBX are able to call any endpoint in the Shortel PBX uh, and users in the Shortel PBX will most certainly be able to dial extensions in the legacy PBX. So here we have um, three key sites. Uh, we have someone perhaps working at home. They will typically have a hardware VPN device 
it, it is possible to um, take a laptop computer and bring up um, Microsoft VPN tunnel and IPsec tunnel directly back uh, to the corporate network uh, and run a soft phone, plug a headset and uh, microphone into your laptop, run the Shortel soft phone and go directly through the VPN that's running on the laptop. However, if you want to run a hardware um, solution, if you want to put a true Shortel IP phone at that remote site, you are going to need a place to plug that phone into the network in such a way that it comes up on the corporate network. And that will require a hardware VPN. Uh, I've worked with both soft phones and hard phones. and. Given a choice uh, for a business environment, you want MPLS in, in your wide area network, um, and you want a, a hardware solution uh, at your remote location. A soft phone will do the job, but uh, it's been my experience that the quality of a soft phone is typically tied to, for example, the processor speed and memory size. Uh, and other applications that are running on this laptop. You, you need to understand that uh, uh, converting analog voice and compressing it and encrypting it and doing the other good things we do with a voice over IP environment, uh, we do that in DSP technology, hardware technology. Uh, if we do it in a soft phone, we've got to create that in software. And so things like the processor speed and available memory of this machine are certainly going to have some impact on the quality of that voice over IP connection. Um, always have a WAN solution in place that enables you to negotiate a service level agreement with your carrier so that we can guarantee the quality of voice across this local area network uh, between these telephone endpoints. But this is uh, an overview of a typical Shortel um, configuration, and you can see architecturally how things go together. The Shortel system administration, we're going to be talking about it in great detail, but you will log into that Shortel server we discussed earlier. Um, it's running IIS, and basically you'll bring up a, a web browser, and you'll be in there doing most of the tasks associated with system administration. 